In a previous video, we showed you some of our favorite tips and tricks, which included topics like sending emails from Outlook into a Teams channel, saving important content within the Teams environment, using connectors and adding applications. We also highlighted some of our favorite shortcuts and commands. Since Microsoft Teams is an ever-growing application, we wanted to share some additional tips and tricks to help you truly immerse yourself into the Teams environment. In this video, we will focus on customizing your Teams environment, turning on channel notifications to ensure you never miss a post, private channels to help you manage confidential documents within the workspace, the new live caption options, which help to create a more inclusive virtual meeting space. Pinning channels for quick access to your commonly used channels. And posting across multiple channels as well as creating announcements. Let's dive in. Now, I don't know much about you personally, but I know that if you're watching this video, you're likely a Teams user. I also know you and I use Teams in different ways. We may enjoy some of the same features and access the same functions as often as one another, but our needs and usage is very unique to us as individual users. Microsoft Teams allows us to customize the Teams environment to suit our individual needs within the application. Out of the box, Teams allows us to access the activity, chat, Teams, Calendar, Calls, and Files view, listed in that order. Although these are the most commonly used views, they may not be applicable for all of us. You can pin and unpin the items or views you want to access from this navigation pane. From the ellipsis view, you can right-click on an application and pin it to the navigation pane. To remove it, simply right-click an item and unpin it. You'll be able to access this item from the ellipsis view in the future if you need to. When you have all of the applications and views that you need most when working within Teams lined up in the navigation pane, you can click and drag them into the position that works best for you and your daily workflow. Don't forget one of the tips from our previous video. Use Control-1 to access the view in the top position of the navigation bar. Control 2 to access the second item, and so on and so forth. We know that at mentioning a specific user in the workspace, at mentioning a channel in the workspace, or even at mentioning an entire team is imperative in getting people's attention when you create a post. Sometimes others forget to use at mentions or don't think their post is relevant enough to use one. As a user, you can ensure that you are always alerted to activity that is occurring within specific channels and teams, whether at mentions are being used or not. From the Teams view, select the ellipsis beside the important channels you want to be alerted to. Select Channel Notifications. Use the drop-down menu found in the All New Post section to manage how you would like to be notified. A banner notification is a pop-up received in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. A feed notification is an alert in the activity view of Teams. If you'd like, you can select this checkbox to receive notifications on the replies others are leaving on the posts within this channel as well. Now you will never miss a post in this channel. If you are receiving channel notifications and that channel is not a priority for you, you can manage or remove notifications for that channel from here as well. Teams is a collaboration workspace where we can share documents freely and have open dialogue within our team channels. But what happens when you have a confidential document or topic of discussion that only certain members of the team can be shared with or included in. Teams offers you the ability to create private channels, allowing you to share and manage confidential documents within the workspace without having to create a secondary workspace. When creating a channel, update the channel privacy, 
from standard to private. Before the channel is made accessible, you must add users from the team workspace to the channel and assign them a role. A user can be a member or an owner. The channel will now be added to the workspace. The lock indicates this is a private channel. But don't worry, only members of a private channel will be able to see the channel in their channel listing. Before creating a private channel, there are some things to note. The users added to this channel must be a member of the team workspace. You cannot at mention the team workspace in a private channel because not all members of the team are members of the channel. A private channel comes with only two default tabs, posts and files. A wiki tab can be added if you'd like. A single team's workspace can have up to 30 private channels. A separate SharePoint site is created for private channels to ensure items remain restricted and are accessible by channel members only. Virtual meeting spaces within Teams allows us to meet with internal and external colleagues despite their physical location. To help make virtual meeting spaces more inclusive, they've introduced live captions. When you join the meeting, select the ellipsis to open the meeting options and choose Turn on live captions. Teams will detect what's being said in the meeting and display real-time captions within the meeting space for users who have the feature turned on. This feature is really helpful for attendees with limited English proficiency, hearing impairments, or for those who have joined from a very busy or loud location. At this time, this feature is available in the Teams desktop app and in the English language only. The captions cannot be saved. If you require a copy of the captions, we suggest recording the meeting and accessing the transcripts. See tip number five in our linked video to learn more about recording transcripts. Often, we find ourselves visiting and revisiting the same channels over and over again. As we showed in a previous Teams video, you can jump to these channels easily by navigating to the command bar and typing slash go to, hitting tab, and entering the channel name. Although this is a very helpful feature to save you time, there is another option. Pin your favorite, most important channels to the top of your Teams view for quick and easy access to them. From the ellipsis beside the channel name, select Pin. Now, with a single click, you can access the channel in all of its contents. The channel remains available from the Teams workspace as well. Below the channel name, you can see which workspace the channel belongs to. When it is no longer needed, select the ellipsis and choose Unpin. Posts allow us to create conversation threads and communicate publicly within our Teams workspace. We can create posts with plain text, add attachments, use GIFs and emojis to express ourselves, but to really grab attention, you can create an announcement. When you create a post, select the Format option. Use this drop-down menu to change from a standard post to an announcement. Use these icons to change the background color or to upload a custom background. Give the announcement a title and add a subheading which will be bold on the post. Now you can add content to the announcement as usual and at mention individuals, channels, or a team. From here, you can also manage responses. You can limit who can reply to this announcement using the drop-down menu. The formatting options also allow you to post this item in multiple channels. The channel that you're currently in will be listed automatically. Choose Select Channels to access other team workspaces in their channels. Select the channels you'd like to post to. Teams is an ever-growing, always-evolving application. 
As it continues to offer us more, we will continue to keep you posted and highlight the newest features of this application. Subscribe to our channel so you're always the first to know when we have new content to share with you. Thank you for watching and have a productive day.